They're working hard to keep him down, but he just keep, he keeps coming back. And he is he is smart. And I'll tell you, I really love the guy, and I've never felt that way about a politician before. I mean, President Trump's uh, his uh, political uh, philosophy is fine. His presidency was outstanding. His attitude, his language is sometimes awful, but uh, I don't have to have a president that I like. I have to have a president who runs this country effectively, and he does. I just like what he did in his last term. I mean, the guy went to North Korea. Nobody's done that before. So, I mean, I liked all his policies, uh, his economic policies. Because that's 30. We are out here canvassing and talking to voters, trying to encourage them to go out and vote if they aren't planning to already and talk to them and see if they're planning on voting for Nikki Haley, if they have any questions and really encouraging them to just show up and do their civic duty and be involved. Ultimately, voters in New Hampshire know that, that Donald Trump might not be the strongest candidate. Uh, he lost the state in 2016 and, and 2020. And in fact, when Joe Biden was nominated in 2016, since that point in time, Republicans have lost all 11 federal races since then. Rural voters and white collar suburban voters vote very differently. And they like Nikki Haley, yeah. but Donald Trump just rubs them the wrong way, mostly a lot because of the tone. I just think that the, the theme of a different candidate other than Biden and Trump is just critically important to where we're going. And um, I would like for her to show tougher and I would like to her to, for her to go up against Trump. I just don't know if she can do it. I just hope she can.